Alright, what's going on guys? It's Jules, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing another Halo Custom Edition Custom Map Review. Today I'm going to be doing a single player custom map, it's called Project Subterfuge. It's a bit of a stealthy kind of mission, um, it's short, it's sweet, played through it, it's fun. Um, um, and we're just going to play through it here, talk about it a little bit, and just really enjoy the gameplay. Um, as always, I'll be dropping the download link and all the information on the map itself in the description as well as a typed review. And I'm just typing out the launch here because it doesn't appear in the campaign tab. So. This will be a second attempt at recording it. Uh, last time had some problems. Let me see something. Okay. For whatever reason, my controller's not working. Give me a second. Get that back in there. There we go. Alright. So it reuses the fourth person portion of 343 Guilty Spark in the original campaign. Got that fog, that rain. It's pretty much the same environment. A couple different weapons like this. Like the SMG from the ODST and this tactical battle rifle as a suppressor. Seen this battle rifle in a couple of other campaign missions over time. Seems to be a pretty popular weapon put in. We got Halo 2, model grunts. Elite shields are strong as shit. Shields recharge stupidly slow. Halo 3-ish style HUD. I feel like jackals are the only cousin enemy that's never customized in any of these maps I've played. Or have played. Okay, so we're in ODST. I probably didn't see, I don't know if those are first cutscene, I don't think there was. I forgot already. And we gotta save the hostage. That's great. Just a little fun fact, if you try to hide anywhere else, it'll still kill you. Even though we're like stupidly close to the explosion, the death barrier is literally everywhere. It's 
funny that this has to be the distraction and that, you know, the, all the covenant down there being put on shirts, as if that wasn't a distraction enough. So I honestly find that to be a pretty valid distraction. Anyways, going across the bridge, gonna get to that hostage, go rescue his ass. That's pretty much the end of that mission. Um, once you finish up there, it just loads up A10, Pillar of Autumn, automatically. So that's pretty much the mission. Short, sweet mission, cool weapons, cool encounter. Um, pretty quick, but I mean, it's fun to play through. Definitely would have been cool to have had, you know, an additional section after rescuing the ODST. But production could have gotten cut short or something. I know that was an issue with a lot of the mapping teams. The outro got cut a little bit short um, due to somebody walking into the room. That's my own fault. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, you know, sub if you're new. Um, have any map descriptions, leave a comment. Message me on Twitter or YouTube, wherever. You know, get in touch with me. And I'll try to map out. And yeah, uh, stay tuned for the next video. Peace, guys.